Let's get to the news. Doctors in Massachusetts have successfully transplanted a pig kidney into a patient, which is a medical milestone. The patient is recovering nicely, and the donor is expected to work to return to work any day. <laughs> You, you kind of hoped, but you yeah, kind of you know. <laughs> Researchers say that loneliness is worse on your health than alcoholism, obesity, and smoking. So you better see a doctor, Keith. <laughs> it's very lonely. So lonely, they don't even laugh. Mm. <laughs> Rumors are circulating online that French President Emmanuel Macron's wife is actually a man. Uh, we'd like to dispel these rumors by going to her for comment. I can assure you, I'm not a man. <laughs> Beer, sports, babes. Glad we settled that. A trio of child bank robbers dubbed the Little Rascals were arrested in Houston. Authorities found them by following a trail of snot and Cheerios. <laughs> Airline CEOs are planning to meet with disaster-prone Boeing to discuss production problems. Here they are arriving. <laughs> <laughs> to comply with a new state law, California police are posting photos of suspects with Lego heads to protect their identities, which isn't very helpful if you already look like a Lego. <laughs> oh. I'll get a call tomorrow. Hey, we, what are you saying? I look like a Lego? Fair and balanced. I'm telling. A study from South Korea says women with long hair have more sex than short-haired women. Experts in America are calling it the Randy Weingarten effect. <laughs> A sequel to Beetlejuice is in the works, but this time Alec Baldwin's not in it because he wasn't comfortable with their shooting schedule. <laughs> A couple in Brazil pays their gym extra to let them work out naked. Hey, if I wanted to see two naked people exercise, I'd just set up two mirrors. <laughs> the global fertility rate will continue to drop according to a new study. I did my part, said one man. <laughs> And Rosie O'Donnell turned 62 today. In a gesture of goodwill, Donald Trump sent her a new trough. Wow. Remember he called her a, a yeah. PIG? All right, is it time to break Google's hold so the truth can be told? When you use the world's most popular search engine, you probably assume you're getting unbiased answers. That's what made Google it a popular phrase, just like, just do it, think different. And Mr. Gutfeld, these wrist restraints are chafing. <laughs> but it turns out when DEI takes over tech, the truth gets wrecked. Last month, users discovered that Gemini, Google's new AI tool, was almost totally incapable of rendering images of white people, essentially turning any image search into a Tyler Perry movie. No matter what instructions you gave the AI, it would create an image of a non-white person. Searches would return images of a black pope, Vikings of color, and of course, black Nazis. As one former Google employee said, it's embarrassingly hard to get Google Gemini to acknowledge that white people exist. Well, that's the same feeling I get when I go to Red Lobster. <laughs> a bigot would say. Back in the old days, we used to worry about AI building robots that looked like Arnold Schwarzenegger. Now the only thing terminators, terminated is white people. Google execs claim it was an error. Yeah, and I fell on that candlestick. <laughs> but now... But now an ex-Google exec and some former engineers say it wasn't a mistake that the company prioritized DEI over good business practices. Sean McGuire, a former partner at Google Ventures, says, quote, Google Gemini's failures revealed how broken Google's culture is. It was a symptom of a larger cultural phenomenon that has been taking over the company for years. In other words, DEI blinded them to reality, so much so they think pictures of black Nazis are a sign of progress. What's next? Googling for pictures of 9-11 terrorists and getting this? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
Got to be a certain age to recognize that. <laughs> Equity demands everyone must be included in all things, including pushing genocide. And according to one ex-employee, DEI is so integrated into Google, engineers must outline the DEI impact for even the minorest software fixes. Think about that. Imagine being a plumber who every time he has to unclog a toilet has to write an essay on how this encourages representation of people of different genders, races, sexual orientations, and disabilities. Talk about a load of <laughs> and, and it's an opportunity cost. Once DEI gets priority, the company's business turns into managing the DEI, and the product becomes its slave. Instead of improving their skewed research results, energy is devoted to mountains of nonsense paperwork that justifies the existence of the DEI grift. True, DEI is a scam, but we have to look at Google more broadly. This week, a new study released by Media Research Center finds that Google has been interfering in elections for years skewing search results against Republicans, promoting Democrats, and suppressing news critical of Biden. In other words, Google searches buried anything that ran counter to their point of view, regardless of truth. Google became no different than your average woke professor, curating a left-wing anti-West perspective while getting high on the scent of its own farts. So instead of helping people search for relevant information, they forced their own version of the world onto us. This is why Google fired James Damore, who spoke out against the company's ideological echo chamber. They preferred to keep their radical aims under lock and key, just like I do with my dream journal of Kevin Sorbo. Because <laughs> they knew the hell they'd get if you found out the one tool that you relied on so much was actually deceiving you. You know, Google used to be good for finding stuff, but now they can't find their way out of this mess. Because solving this huge problem would require making people accountable for their horrible decisions. And lefties just hate to judge people, especially ones that look like they're straight off a city college brochure. And one thing you never do is hand over the reins of accountability to the people who should also be held accountable, the bosses. Musk had a similar problem. Twitter had been taken over by political operatives who were only there to enforce ideological conformity. So Musk bought it and gave Twitter a company-wide enema. Maybe that should happen to Google. Get a few billionaires to join forces by Google, not for the sake of the company, but for the sake of the world. In the meantime, maybe Google should do some soul searching. But I wouldn't use Google to do it. All you'll get is pictures of feet. <laughs> Let's welcome tonight's guest! Like Stevie Wonder, he also doesn't get to see his kids. Actor, writer, and comedian, Jamie Lissau. She's always sunny when she talks about money. Host of the evening edit on Fox Business, Liz McDonald. Dog owners ask if she bites. New York Times bestselling author and Fox News contributor, Cat Tim. They call him the time machine because he can knock people into next week. New York Times bestselling author, comedian, and former NBA yeah. champion. Jamie, I didn't write this question. Okay. If Google really did interfere with the election, do you think it also interfered with your failed ma marriage? It's, it's, I take some of the blame. Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> I knew something was going on with Google, with like that they were choosing a side politically. I Googled, um, I Google imaged an airplane the other day, and it only had a left wing. <laughs> and I go, this. I feel like Google does have an obligation because people treat it like Encyclopedia Britannica, mm -hmm. and they think it's facts, and then it's so biased. I feel like that's a real issue because Google is like the. It's like you say Kleenex for tissue. Mm -hmm. You say Google for look it up, and I feel like they have an. Like no, no one ever goes like, oh, you don't believe me? Bing it. Yes. <laughs> or, oh, oh yeah. Well, why don't you why don't you duck duck go it if <laughs> yeah. you don't. Right. Like I feel like as that as taking on that role, I feel like they do have that um, obligation. And this scares me, man. Because if think about it, man. Like if the machines take over, that will suck. You know, it will suck worse mm. if it's if it's annoying. Woke machines. Yes. Yeah. We'll be the first to go. It'll be because I'm I'm very I'm very worried about. It. I know we've talked about it a lot. Like um everything. I'm even like I just noticed the other day I started being like super polite just to Alexa. Mm. Just you know I say please and thank you if she plays the wrong song I go nope you're right this one's better. <laughs> and um 
We just have to be careful. Like even our TVs are smart. You know, like my TV is very smart. Like the, the other day, the View came on and it smashed itself on the ground <laughs> and um, ripped its wires out. So. <laughs> Liz, um, uh, Jamie, uh, uh, who uh, is my favorite one-eyed comic, um, <laughs> in one eye? points out a, a really a, an important pro a problem. Google is Coke, but we have no Pepsi. You know, it's like when yeah. CNN arrived, FNC came later and destroyed it. But no one's been able to destroy Google. Right. But is Google even salvageable? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. Frankly. You're right. Microsoft's Bing search was like Fanta. It wasn't even Pepsi. Yes. Um, you know, it, it, I don't know. Because, you know, what's, what's happening is if Google is allowed to falsify results, mm -hmm. like with AI, I mean, the SEC is always going after businesses for falsifying results. Mm -hmm. And what, what I find really interesting is that, you know, Google's allowing AI to develop these images, giving people credit for things they didn't do. Isn't that privilege? Mm, good point. I don't know. I mean, I just think, the, the, I didn't know how the depth of what Google was doing until I re read the reports on it. Mm -hmm. And you're right. I, you wonder, will the Democrats in Congress step up to do anything? Probably not. Yeah, it feels like we're we're seeing like a stage four or five of a disease where the cancer is everywhere. Yeah. And you're gonna have to just clean house or somebody's gotta buy it. Cat, have you ever searched for something on Google, for an article that you know exists, you know it's there, and it doesn't show up yeah. because the content is not so somehow amenable? Well, if I look for something on Google and I can't find it, then I just Google what I was I, what I was doing and I just add the word Reddit on the end. And then <laughs> it's always on Reddit. There's yeah. still a lot of really strange information available on Reddit, so that's either good or bad, depending on how you look at that. But also, I guess we still do have, um, we have books. Yes. What are those? Maybe books will make a comeback. Yes. You know, because it, it, it's true. I, even if going back to Reddit, like if people have relationship problems, they go to Reddit, which is an insane place to go. But shouldn't you be able to Google stuff like that? Shouldn't there be advice? And everything's so sanitized, it seems like, on Google. The worst place to get relationship advice is where it all is on Instagram. Everybody, uh, there's all these crazy-eyed yes. women giving advice about how men want this and want that, and they are miserable, Cat, <laughs> miserable. I guess that's more of a comment than a question. No, I think Reddit's a worse place to get advice, yeah. actually. All right, Tyrus. Uh, uh, to be fair, there's a lot of dudes giving marital advice on <laughs> IG that really should stop. Yes. <laughs> you, you got good with one. You have no idea what the rest are up to. <laughs> stay out of it, bro. Like, just stay in your bunker. Stay yeah. out of it. That's what I do. Listen, this. whenever anyone gets power, mm -hmm. for whatever reason... Whatever their good deeds were when they started out, their influence has become more important. They're, they're powerful. The people who are running Google, they want this. Mm -hmm. This is part of who they are, and they have support for this. The media supports it. The left wing supports it. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the smaller group, which is calling like, hey, this isn't right, they don't care because we're flawed anyways, mm -hmm. because we're conservative or free thinkers or libertarians. We don't want your angle on how it is. Mm -hmm. We just want how it is. Mm -hmm. But that's the problem when people get into power. It always kind of it always kind of ends up that way. Mm -hmm. You have to Google was a quick fix. I I, I don't see these issues because I don't use it for anything. Mm -hmm. If I you need don't to find use something Google? Not at all. Like I have I still have my I, I feel like an idiot saying this, but I still have my Encyclopedia Britannica. I still have a dictionary. Mm -hmm. And I actually read books. Yeah. So what Google was was a shortcut for idiots to sound to compete with people who knew what the was going on. Yeah. <laughs> so my entire life, the short road has never worked. Mm -hmm. And I don't trust anyone. So especially as my experience through Wikipedia, when I wouldn't sign an autograph for a certain person, they'd get mad and make me shorter and fatter. Yes. So it would literally, I'd be, I'd be, I'd go from 6'8 to 5'11, 700 pounds because... <laughs> John Milley in Indiana, I didn't sign his 40-year-old birthday party skateboard. Like, <laughs> he could go on there and change it. So for me, once I figured out that this stuff can be changed, you could change anything you want, then it's really not information. Mm -hmm. So you have to do it the old-fashioned way. You got to turn the page. You actually have to, you can't, the quick fix never works. And even with my kids and stuff, when they have to do book reports, they hope I'm on the road. Yeah. Because I'm like, the library's that way. I'll take you. Let's go. Mm -hmm. And just watching them go, what did you do again? You did what? You have to find an index card? 
they, they just want the phone right there. But then they find the book and they actually do a little read. And then when they talk about it, they're so empowered, mm -hmm. opposed to if I let them just cut and paste and put on a piece of paper. So it's up to us. Turn the babysitter off. Mm -hmm. Teach them, teach your kids the way you learned. Yeah, don't turn the to. babysitter on. <laughs> Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.